sing the songs, remember the shows. And so thanks everyone for coming uh, from the family, y'all. Uh, we appreciate y'all being here on this day. Thank you. sit down. If you're taking too long, I'm going to stand up. And when I stand up, that means you sit down. <laughs> Out of decency and in all. Feel free to express yourself, knowing that we only got a limited amount of time in there. We're not rushing it, but we want to get through this. Yeah. Give everybody a chance to express their love and dedication. So who'll be first? There you go. Shirley, you continue to stay focused on the Lord, helping whoever comes through, because God going to send, you know, and just keep asking for the strength and the guidance to get through it, you know, because we all going to go when it's time to go. Amen. God bless you all. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Anyone else?
Um, and she loved y'all so much. Yeah. She loved y'all. Y'all were her family. Like, she loved y'all so much. And it's gonna be hard. It really is. It's unfortunate that um, there aren't more people here from our community because this lady was in everyone's inbox. Yeah. Everyone's. Every time yeah. we had a show, she was there. She yeah. made it. It doesn't even, it, even, even if she didn't know you, it was just the support of her being here. And my girl could dance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she could dance. She could up and she looks so good. But yeah, um, she definitely does. one of this day does definitely have a special place in my heart. Um, her memory will live forever with you, y'all. Thank you. Amen. Anyone else can join? Okay. <clears throat> encouraging words to me. It's unreal that she's lit there. But she was a good person, Mary. She was really a good person. And you was having a, a dull moment, that dull moment turned into like sunshine, like 
because she'll make your day just by her words yep. by her coming to you text me every day and told me that it was going to be okay even though you know she couldn't attend but she told me she said you got this and you're gonna be and you're gonna be okay yeah. i'm gonna forever miss her because she was a, she was a good friend she reached out to everybody like she was a person like humble drama she didn't go for it <laughs> she'll tell you mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> But Junior plays real quick. So Dana, I just want to let you know that I love you and I'm gonna forever miss you. She sure is. She watching my baby. She probably holding the money. I just want to say I miss Dana. She she was sweet. She always did that. She'll text you and be like, you all right? So I'm just saying I miss her. friend. She will always be a good friend. She did, and just like everybody else, sent a message through Facebook. And Shirley sure seen all them pictures. <laughs> 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 Every time you see her, it's either a smile or just a big giggle laugh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready, Nori? Okay, that's it. Come on, you can do it. Dana, watch. It's okay. Dana, watch it. She got you. Go ahead and tell talk to Dana. Talk to Dana.
love her, like I said, and I am thankful that I was able to have her in my life um, because uh, she is a very, very big part. And I thank um, the world for sharing Shirley with me and Shirley sharing Dana with me. And it's just a domino effect. Like you never know who you're going to come across in life. But at the end of it all, you'd be thankful for every single moment because regardless of what, I would have changed it. So thank y'all for being here. And love you, Dana. Hello, everybody. I'm glad there's everybody here today. My name is Terrica. <laughs> I'm a friend of Dana's as well. I'm having an anxiety attack right now. She, no, I have them, but she used to have them, so she used to calm me down. Y'all, excuse me if I take a little few breaths. I just want to say, she. Dana was a beautiful person inside and out. It was times when Shirley and I may be going through something. Dana never picked a side. Jackie never picked a side. Share with nobody. And I just want to say I'm gonna make this I really, I'm gonna miss her. My daughters are gonna miss her. They couldn't make it today, they had to work. And my 11 year old Bash thought she's going to miss her. Um, that's Dana Dang. <laughs> that's what I call it. Dana Dang. That's what I was to say. Okay. Really. I'm going to really miss you. I love you. May you rest in peace. Mm-hmm. May God guide you through your process. Thanks. Love you. Love you. Amen. <laughs> Before we close the family and the friends uh, remarks to Dana Warren. Before we close. Yes. <laughs> when you're right, if I don't say nothing. <laughs> and we're going to give, yeah. give you three minutes. Okay. <laughs> I got a whole story to tell. I ain't going to give you three minutes. God sent her to me one day. She came to me asking for something to eat. If you know me, you knock on my door and ask me for something to eat, anything, I'm going to give it to you. Whether I have it or not, we're going to find something. That day that she knocked on my door, she been with me over 11 years from that one day. And <laughs> we went through a lot, a, a whole lot, ups and downs, me trying to figure out who she is, she trying to figure out who I am, you know, a lot, a lot. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all got phone calls because of me because she was either mad at me or anything. I don't know. But she was my angel. I, I believe she was. God so sent her to me because she got me through a lot. A lot. And I know I got hurt through a lot. But I'm going to miss her so much. Y'all just don't know I'm going to miss her so much. And I know, I know <laughs> her world's going to miss her because she was the entertainment of for the old people, you know. <laughs> she still did some squats and drops and skills. And I told her she had to give it up. She was not trying to. So we I don't miss her so much. It's just so much. My kids go miss her. You know, it was just a lot. It just I, I just hope she watch over me, watch over us while we're here and you know, prepare us, you know, a place, make it okay for when we get there. But I'm gonna miss her so so much, so much. I hope I make it to see her age <laughs> and do a flip and a squat. <laughs> but I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her so much. Is I brought her into everybody, everybody, my whole family. I made everybody accept her. They couldn't accept me. They accept her. You can't accept me. And everybody accepted her from my family, friends, whoever we ran in contact with, and vice versa. People I met through her, they accepted us as her family, we, and that's just what it is. Yeah. So in the community, she's she was loved. She was loved by many, so I'm surprised I ain't seen this full room yet. But she was loved by many, many, many. And she know a lot of people. Plus she spoke Spanish too, so that was help. <laughs> when we go places, I'd be like, Say so, what's she saying? <laughs> but she she was very talented. She come she traveled a lot. Dana come from oh she went she done traveled everywhere around the world. 
everywhere. She come from the islands, went from there to New York and came on down all the way to Texas and she stayed here and found me. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I'm a love and I'm a miss her. And I thank all y'all for coming out, supporting her, you know, mm -hmm. on her welcome home day. You know, y'all continue to keep her in your prayers, you know, keep her lifted in your hearts, but she's still there. <laughs> thank y'all. Not only did I get the privilege of speaking, I just been around new. I knew a painter. Came to the church where I preach at. Came and supported uh, Shirley when her children got baptized. I baptized Shirley Shirley. Uh, hmm. Sit in on a lot of sermons and things like that. Uh, as far as her relationship with God, that was between them and God. I, I you know. Uh, I can't speak on nobody's behalf. All I can speak on my own that I got a relationship. Uh, we're not gonna be long. I'm just gonna give you a word of comfort. First, I'm gonna give you a word of comfort. Then I'm gonna deliver a word. I don't preach long. I preach strong. I'm gonna sit down. It don't take all day to deliver the word of God. But for a word of comfort, if I would just hear the voice coming out and say, "I am safe in the arm of the Lord." Oh, so happy and bright. There's a perfect joy and peace here in this everlasting life. All my pains and grief are over. Every restless toss and pass. I am now at peace forever, safely home, home in heaven at last. So don't cry for me because my time was up. Roll was being called and I heard my name. Just know one day you will hear the same. I didn't die, I'm only asleep. <laughs> One day on the other side, we will meet. So live life to the fullness while you can, because tomorrow is not promised, time is at hand. So live life to the fullness while you can. Don't regret living life, but know there's consequences behind life. This may be my last time. <laughs> It may be my last time, I don't know. It may be my last time, I don't know. It may be the last time you hear me speak. It may be my last time, I don't know. It may be the last time you hear me speak. It may be my last time, I don't know. And the reason why I say that, that this may be our last time is at hand. <coughs> We can fall dead five seconds from now. So this may be your last time. So love each other while you got a chance. Don't wait till they're dead and gone and want to pull them out to catch them. This may be the last time. For those who are able to stand, can you please stand for the reading? Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And my reference scripture come out of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. And the word of the Lord read is dust coming out the King James Version. And as it is appointed until man wants to die, but after death come judgment. And my reference scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that which was done, whether it be good or bad. Shine on me, Lord. Shine on me, let the light, let the light from the lighthouse, from the lighthouse shine, shine on, on me. Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask you to let your light in your lighthouse, Lord, shine upon me. Where may see my good work, Lord, to glorify you. If I'm going too fast, Lord, I ask you to slow me down. If I'm too high, Lord, I ask you to bring me down. If I'm too low, Lord, I ask you to pick me up. For I want to be in right standard with God instead of right standard with man. I ask you to know the very eyes, the ears, the heart, the soul, the spirit, each and every vision at the sound of your voice. Lord, let James be seated. Lord, let self be seated, Lord, and you speak through me, the uncompromised word of God. Father God, Lord, we ask you for a spirit of receiving that we may receive your words and apply it in the manner in which you deliver it for correction of our lives, the closer relationship with thee. We thank you for all you're doing and all that you're about to do. Have your way. He'll deliver and set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. amen. You may be seated. Let the church say amen. 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 Sing it over. Amen. A little bit.
it louder. Amen. 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 I love getting my amen out of the way because I'm not the type of minister that calls for amen. Because you don't have to confirm the word of God because the word of God speaks for itself. For the Bible says, let God stand true and every man a lie. You got too many teachers, too many preachers, too many ministers lying to the children of God about the things of God with the word of God. But I come to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. On my way to heaven, I stop by to share the word of God with you. And what you do with it, that's on you. Amen. What you do with the word today, that's on you. You can't tell nobody, nobody told me. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. My topic is appointment with death. For the Bible says it is appointed for man once to die and after death comes judgment. And if I had to use a subtopic, my subtopic is judgment time. Webster define judgment as a process or form of opinion. But the biblical definition of judgment is a process including the final decision of or punishment. You know, we all heard that cliche, only God can judge me. You know, people say that real quick. Regardless if they're right or wrong, doing right or wrong, hey, you can't judge me, only God can judge me. For the book of Lucas says, judge not and you will not be judged. By the same standard you judge somebody, God will judge you the same way. And when we judge people, sometimes we have a tendency to voice our opinion on who we think they are, who they, we think they should be. Mm -hmm. But we choose to live the life we live. Nobody got a gun out here making us do the things we do and live the way we live. It's a free choice. But you have to remember, the way you live is what how you're going to be judged. That we all have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ to give account for what we have done in this here body. And God don't have no curve system on how he gonna judge you. Either he gonna say, well done, my good and faithful servant, or he gonna say, depart from me, I know you're not. Cause everybody say, Lord, 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 ain't gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven. Some of the hoes on the street gonna make it to heaven before some of the preachers in the church house. Amen. So you have to know that judgment is coming. <laughs> we all being judged on the standards of what we know. For the Bible says, better for a man not to know the grace of God and know it and not apply it. To know to do right and do wrong is a sin. He said the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean? A lot of times when we judge others, we forget, because Michael Jackson had a song talk about the man in the mirror. <laughs> Before we go judging anybody, we need to look at ourselves. The Bible said, how can you take a speck out your brother's eye when you got a log in yours? He says, first take the speck out your eye before you can take the plank out of somebody else. See, it's appointed for man wants to die. Two dates on them. You got the date they were born and the date they would die. But people be focusing on the date they were born and the date they would die, but they don't focus on that line in between there. Mm -hmm. See, that line in between there is the life that you live, and that's what God will judge you on, that life that you live. What you have done. Old songwriter say, what have you done for me lately? When you stand before God, God will ask that question. What have you done for me lately? Who did you tell? Who did you show? The Christ? We always sing that song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. But sometimes it'd be a dull light. It'd be so dull that we can't even see it. But it is appointed for man wants to die and after death comes judgment. That means that we got to stand before God. And God will judge us on how. The Bible says it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. So God will judge us on how we are. How he created us. And we're going to stand before God. But how many know that every time somebody dies, the line gets shorter? When we was a baby, the line was real long. It was a million mile line. And as we started growing and aging, the line got shorter. And as the line got shorter, our loved ones started dying. How many know you got more years behind you than you got in front of you? A lot of people not looking at that. Some people think they're not going to die. You think you're going to live forever. But FYI, you aren't going to die. We're going to die. But see, the big question is, you know you're going to die, but where's your soul going? See, I'm not concerned about your body. I'm concerned about where your soul going. Where your soul going? See, a lot of people are not thinking about that. They want to party hard and have a good time. But when you stand before God, you don't have no mistakes. 
You don't have no excuse for not living the life that you have been called to live. For the Bible said that many is called, but few is chosen. And some of y'all been picked out to be picked on. Mm. Yeah, you've been picked out to be picked on. We walk around all the time talking about nobody loves you. Everybody loves you. Everybody's a loving person. But that love that you show is not guaranteed that it's going to get you in heaven. Yeah. Having that love. Here's the thing about that bitch right here. That remind me of a story about this here woman that went to church. And when she got old, 18 years old, she said, Mama, I'm not going to church no more. And the mama said, well, get out of my house. And she got out the house and she was living. She got her own apartment and all her friends were coming around. And one day she heard a knock on the door. <laughs> said, who is it? And the voice on the other end said, death. And she said, y'all could plan. Every time I look up, y'all plan. Y'all getting too old to play for all that plan. And she opened up the door. And to her amaze, it was a death angel. Mm -hmm. And she got scared. And the death angel don't, said, don't be scared. I didn't come for you. I just come to tell you I took your mama. No. But I'm coming back for you. She took my mama. She said, yeah, I'm coming back for you. She said, well, you let me know before you come back that you're coming back. She said, yeah, I'm going to let you know. She was 18 years old. Going to the club, partying harder, dropping it like it's hot, picking it back up. <laughs> doing all the things she was doing. Ten years later, there was a knock on the door. He said, who is it? The voice on the other end said, death. She's 28 years old. Still going to the club, still dropping it like it's hot. She said, who is it? He said, death. She opened up the door to amaze with the death angel. He said, don't be afraid. I didn't come to get you. I just let you know I just took your sister. But I'm coming back for you. She said, oh, you going to let me know before you come back that you're coming back? She said, yeah, I'm going to let you know I'm coming back. 28 years old. 30 years later, that was a knock on the door. She's still dropping it like a hot banana. She's dropping it, but she can't pick it back up. <laughs> She's 58 years old. She said, who is it? Voice on the other end said, death. She opened up the door. To her maid, and said, I didn't come for you. I just took your son. Mm. But I'm going to let you know I'm coming back when I'm coming back. He said, oh, thank you. I'm going to be ready. I mean, you going to let me know? Yeah, I'm going to let you know. Five days later, it was a knock on the door. He said, who is it? The voice of the end said, it's death. She opened up the door and said, who you come for this time? He said, I come for you. You come for me. I thought you were going to let me know when you're coming back that you're coming back. He said, I did. When your hair turned gray. Oh. When your memory got short. When your knees got weak. All the telltale signs that I was coming back. I'm here to tell you. Death don't have no limitations. It's taking your mama. It's taking your brothers. It's taking your sisters. It's taking your children. It's taking your loved ones. Who's next? It ain't over with. I have a song that sang, if y'all know, help me. Because we need to get right, church, and let's go home. Get it right. Get right, church, and let's go home. Get it right. Get right, church. Get right, church. Get right, church, and let's go home. I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home on the morning train. The evening train might be too late. The evening train might be too late. The evening train, the evening train, the evening train might be too late. Back, back train and let's go home. Back, back. Back, back train and let's go home. Back, back. Back, back train, back, back train, back, back train and let's go home. You going home if you want to or not. Mm. This is a home going. After judgment come death. We gonna be judged on everything we do. I don't judge nobody. You might be all at a bag of chips. I just don't like chips. <laughs> but I'm not judging you. Mama told me a long time ago, if you ain't got nothing good, don't say nothing at all. Because I got a lot of faults. 
I'm not perfect. I got a lot of faults. The Bible said we all fall short in the glory of God. But when I fall down, I get back up again. I don't have pity parties. The Bible said the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong, but to the one to endure to the end. I'm in it to win it. I'm not just in it just to be in it. I'm in it to win it. Because when I stand before God, I want God to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been a rule over a little, I'll make you rule over a lot. Yeah. So think about life that you're living. Get it right. Ain't nobody worried about what you're doing. People don't care about your life and lifestyle. I really don't care about the way that you live. What I'm concerned about is your soul. Where's your soul going when it leaves your body? It got to go somewhere. Everybody talk about, yeah, everybody in heaven. FYI, everybody ain't in heaven. Everybody not going to be in heaven. You're going to have some folks looking down at others, and you're going to have some folks looking up at others. A lot of people talk about, I want to be with mama. I want to be with big mama. Now, I want to be with Jesus. That's who I want to see. If mama didn't make it, that's because mama didn't make it. So live life to the fullness while you can. But as you live life, know it's consequences. Death ain't nothing to play with. It's snatching people in their sleep. It's snatching people driving down the street. It's snatching people all over the place. Next time you know who died now. Who you know how you know when somebody died? When they ask you, did you know John? <laughs> did you know John? Had a sister named Felicia. Had a, had a cousin. Yeah, yeah, I know her. Well, they did. <laughs> so let me tell you something. The same way we attending this funeral, one day somebody's going to be attending our funeral. And for those who say they're not going back to church, let me tell you something. You're going to go back to church and either you're going to walk in or be carried in, but you're going back. <laughs> either you can go feet down or feet stretched out. So get right church and let's go home. This is a home gone. They didn't live their life. It's over with. All we got is memories. That's something that nobody can't take away. You might be riding down the street and smell some food and, oh, yeah, that, I remember one day to cook that. Yeah. Or we might be doing something like bring back memories. Yeah. I remember working on, working on this car. <laughs> I've done a lot of things. <laughs> but I learned how to put things in its proper perspective. Don't let nobody's death be a reason why you don't get up and live life. Oh, I want to be with that. I've seen folks pull people out the casket. When it's your time to go, <laughs> let me let you know you're going to go. <laughs> so don't be so quick to put yourself in the grave. Somebody here today have a chance to change your life and get it right. Don't fear man. Don't fear about what people are saying about you. You ought to be concerned about what God say about you. Amen. Then when he, you stand before God, God will say, you know what? Come on in. Instead of saying, depart from me. And I don't care what name they give him. Hell going to be full of titles. <laughs> Hell going to be full of titles. <laughs> You're saying that right there. Live life to the fullness while you can. Tomorrow's not promised. Get right church and let's go home. I don't believe in sugarcoating the word of God. What you do with it, that's on you. You can't stand before God and say, nobody told me. Nobody told me. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 says, I call heaven and earth to bear witness against you this day that you choose life and death, blessed the curse and choose life that both thou and our seed may live. Don't you know if you can change your life, how other people looking at you can change theirs? Yeah. Saying if they can do it, I can do it. Good. 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 To God be the glory. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Let go and let go. If you don't know which way to go, stand still to see the salvation of the Lord. Lift up the eyes towards the hill which cometh to your hill. Ask God to guide you. Because that is the God. That is the creator. The Bible said, it is he who have made us and not we ourselves. Don't think that that alarm clock that will wake you up in the morning. 
Yeah. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Those who are having conflict with your loved ones, go make up. Get it right. Don't wait yourself in a casket and then all of a sudden you want to fall out, jump in the casket with them and all that. No. Get it right. Go tell them I love you, even if they don't want to have nothing to do with you. Get it off your head. I apologize for whatever you think I did. I apologize. <laughs> Get it right. Because tomorrow will be too late. Tomorrow ain't promised. Tomorrow ain't promised. But I hope and pray that somebody that got a word they can take and run with them and be like Michael Jackson, a man in the mirror look at yourself. Not from the standards of the world. The world will cheer you on if you do it wrong or right. Yeah. Trust me, the world will cheer you on. They're going to give you high praises. But they don't have a heaven and hell to put you in. Because huh. the Bible said to be absent in the body, to be present with God. I can speak to you, I'm blue in the face, and you go do what you want to do anyway. <laughs> so God bless y'all, keep y'all, and most of all, get right church and let's go home. coming out the King James Version. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. This is far as we can go. We can't go no further. But we can always hold on to the love and memories that they have. Just remember one day, we too would be off in the same position. So get it right. God bless you. I'll keep you up. Thank you, Reverend Henry. On behalf of Carter Taylor Williams, Mark Aaron, and staff, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Reverend Henry for the message and for officiating for us. And we'd also like to thank Shirley and all your hard work that you put in to make this program a success in celebrating the life of Willie Smith, also known as Dana Janelle Blake. We'd like to thank all of you who turned out today to show your love and support for Shirley and the rest of the family. So thank you again, and may God continue to bless and keep each of you his own way. Thank you. Benediction, if you don't mind. Thank you. We're going to close. Blessed be the name, oh, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, oh, blessed be the name. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Christ, we depart from one another, Lord. Never let us depart from you. You keep us together, mind, body, soul, and spirit upon a wonderful cord, preaching and teaching the gospel of Christ, being obedient to the word, doing what the word say do. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we ask through one for another. We continue to ask you for traveling grace on the highways, byways, streets, and alley till we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's church say amen. 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 Can I get another one in Thank you. Anybody get one? Give me another one. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Yes. So be careful when you hear a knock. Oh, bless you. Yes, yes, I was late, girl. I left. And how you doing? Oh, bless you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank y'all. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. Give me a hug. I got to clock out. I'm going to call you, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Love you, Shirley. Thank you. You love me the glove. Hands up your name again.
be God, be the glory. Sir, this ain't right on Nikki, is it? <laughs> is it? She said yeah. What is it? It's a rose and a, uh, I'm gonna give you a rose here. They not, you, you can put them in a vase when you get home because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap mine. What, what, what the big ones at? There's some big ones going on. What the big ones? That's the biggest one. Or is it? Yeah, thank you, Shirley. Thank you. 
Cherry was giving that little. I didn't know that you little little want some roses. Oh, wait, wait. What up, cousin? Hi, cousin. How you Hi. doing, honey? Mm -hmm. You always show up. Yes. <laughs> I know it. Everybody behind me. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Go, Terrica. Go, Terrica. No, don't. You can't twerk on the. You can't twerk on the. I don't do that. <laughs> Yeah. 